Well, I think my graphics are fixed, but I'm not sure my tractor's ready for this. Let's do it. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Bucks County here at Farming Simulator 19. Today, we are going to be getting a little bit of work done, as we always do. First things first, I need all of the lime out of this silo, because... We are not going to be doing lime anymore. Why are we not doing lime anymore? Well, I don't have precision farming installed anymore. <laughs> That's why uh, I decided to take it off. I had a bit of an issue between the last episode and this episode, so decided to, for now, uninstall it. That's right. So it is completely out of the game as of right now. Now, another thing that I've done is I have gone in and kind of reset the capture card a little bit. Capture card, I didn't realize for like the past year, I've been like upscaling from 1080p through the capture card. I didn't have it set at 4K and I've set it at 4K signals. So I've go back and now it is getting a true 4K signal. So hopefully this should look a little bit better. I'm still gonna be having the video in 1080p. That's not gonna change, but hopefully at least the picture quality will be a little bit better. What it was doing is the capture card itself, instead of doing in the software, the hardware was actually saying, all right, every four of those pixels, make them one, which was making it less sharp, less clear. And my live streams, I feel like that was the problem. That was the issue. Uh, maybe that was also the reason for some of the, uh, you know, not so great <laughs> looks around. Uh, so we've done that. So hopefully it's all fixed and ready to go. Something else I've done, is we have put in an edge selling station. So the multi-selling station right here, we've put this in so that hopefully we'll be able to sell some stuff. Today, we are selling lime in this. Now, I don't know how much money we get from lime, but I guess we're getting ready to find out. All right, so price is pretty good. Price isn't too bad. It is fairly expensive. Okay, it's 5,700 bucks for 8,000 liters. That's not bad. It's actually really good, isn't it? Yeah, I got one question. Can we fill anything up from under here? No, okay. Wouldn't it be cool if we could buy wood chips from there? That'd be pretty sweet. So, the first part is over. As a matter of fact, this is like the last thing that we're doing today in game. I'm currently taking a hiatus from doing contracts, at least normal contracts. We're going to be uh, revisiting those. Hopefully soon, we'll take a look. Ooh, I'm about to miss my turn, ain't I? Wait, can I go this way? Stop, hold up. Now nah, we need a turn. <laughs> of course we do. We'll go ahead and turn on here. Also, I love that it says 35 and yet none of the vehicles are going anywhere close to that. So we come in here and you see we have fertilizer, fertilizing, fertilizing, but none of that is harvesting. I'm kind of done with fertilizing contracts. I don't know about you guys. Might do filled one, filled one. That's, I right, that's pretty good. Let's be fair. That's pretty, that's, that's all right. That's all right. So we'll take filled one, but I'm not going to do any more fertilizing contracts. That's going to be the last one. Hopefully tomorrow in game. We might get, oh yeah, some harvesting contracts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit that contract now. See you guys in the morning. Yeah, man. Next day, we are getting it done. So I did do that contract. Give us a little bit of money. Actually, give, considering how much money we had, we got a good amount of money. We're going to go through. We're going to put our last stage of fertilizer on all these fields. And we also need to double check and see, do we have any harvesting contracts? Yeah, just a few, huh? Quite a bit of fertilizing, to be fair. Let's see, what else ready to harvest today? There should be a bit ready to harvest. Ah, okay, so there's not a bit ready to harvest, but we do have a few little things. 32, what is in there? That is oats, looking good, man. Is that what we get, fill 32? <laughs> Ayo, let's go. Fertilizer, 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 fertilizer. Of course, 33 fertilizer. You know what, we'll go ahead and accept that. We'll go ahead and accept that as well. But I'm gonna take that fill, that fertilizing contract, the harvesting rather. Eh, some of these, not so much. Barley for the harvesting. Eh, not really my thing. It is what it is. We got a few, so this is good. Um, I don't think you guys want to sit around while I'm fertilizing the uh, main fields that I've got, at least the woods here. So now we are up to a few fields. If you missed our last video, we have acquired field number 20. Five. We'll pull this up. Look smack dab in the middle of the map. It'll be green. 25. Uh, it is about the same size as like all three of our fields that we have currently. It was massive. It was like 480 grand. But you know what? 
That is going to be good. Very good, because it already had soybeans in it. I didn't have to plant it. I was so happy. I was, I was just dying with happiness and joy whenever I saw that. Uh, but we did need to put lime in it, and we did need to make sure that the field was fertilized as well. Um, and precision farming was just getting on my nerves just a little bit, not allowing me to do the things that I wanted to do and get them done as quickly. Yes, uh, with precision farming, you only have to go over the field twice, once with full set of lime, and once with a full set of fertilizer, and then you don't have to touch that field again. Well, guess what? When I do this, I have to do it only three times, and I don't have to do lime except for the first time, and never, ever, ever again. I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. Plus, hey, it gives me something to do as well. Generally, with precision farming, I've actually been lazier because there's been less to do. I like having precision farming turned off. It is pretty cool, though. And whatever is coming next for Farming Simulator, I uh, I look forward to it with great anticipation in the form of Precision Farming because they've come out straight and said Precision Farming is a two-year thing. And guess what? It's only been out for a couple months. So ain't too bad, huh? Ain't too bad at all. How about this? Let's get a little bit of work done. Let's go and hit our top three fields, and then I'll meet you guys whenever it's time to hit our big fourth field. Three down and one to go, and boy, oh boy, is this field massive. I'm just curious. Let's go in here real quick. I want to do like a quick check. So we'll take the main farm here, say 281, 265. This one's 410, but it, it's not that little chunk right there. 478. So it's not quite the price of these but there's not a whole lot to this area other than just the area itself there we go grab a hold you can kind of see a couple little bits and pieces right here on the end i'm not really sure what all that lime is but i know it's lime and it's going away so hey we are all right so we're doing good things are progressing things are moving along today we're doing all right i get we do have a couple of those contracts i'm just gonna probably pop those off screen maybe the harvesting contract we might show a little bit as a matter of fact that's kind of the only big thing left to do we do have quite a bit of other stuff as well on here that's ready to be uh ready to be harvested or you know this and that that kind of thing so i'll double check some other fields but i don't believe they're quite ready to be harvested at least as of yet that's okay there's nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact as soon as we get to a good stopping point here i'm going to set this bad boy on a worker let him do his thing and then we're going to come behind and go ahead and set up our harvesting contract. How's about that? Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Unfold it. Get it ready to go. Let's double check. Make sure straw, sorv or straw swath was not enabled. Ooh, yikes. Well, it's enabled now. That's all that matters. Let's go ahead and get this header put back right. Perfect. Drop it down. Turn it on. And go. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yo. Go a little bit faster how about that all right so this is a harvesting contract meaning that we don't get to keep all this however we are going to be able to keep some of it not a whole lot plus it is oats which means that we're going to be able to make some money off this when the time comes now don't forget i will not be selling any wheat or barley that we gain because we can use that as chicken food down the line now we could also use oats as horse food yes i understand that but it's going to be a couple years in game before we get any horses so between uh between now and then i think we're gonna be okay i'm not gonna push it too hard i will come through here and we will get this straw up we will collect this with one of our uh one of our other tractors and the baler that we already have so we're not gonna be leasing a baler do that to be fair we might <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Uh, what I can tell you is that the game plan is to eventually hire a worker on this. As everything, we always do two headlands. And if you are watching for the first time, maybe it's your first let's play, something like that. I always, always, always recommend that you guys do every single harvesting contract that you can. Harvesting contracts are wonderful, especially in seasons makes them even better. Because normally, you do your harvesting contract, go through, uh, you harvest it, and most people will load from their harvester, and they'll just take the crop to the sell point whenever they can well as soon as this thing says contract finished you can't do much of anything else so you have to be careful you can't uh if you have the straw me mod you can't pick the straw up if you're harvesting you're not be able to go harvest anymore uh the contract is done and most people say oh cool and they get their payment me i look at that going no because i want every bit of crop off this ground before we even think about taking any of it over to the sell point Put it in your silo. I don't care. <laughs> Just don't get rid of it. 
it's the best everybody's looking good we are rocking and rolling through here check this out so we have hit half of this field basically already i say half of the field already what we've done is we've done four rows and two headlands it does look cool though doesn't it this is one of the neater fields because you really have to be patient with it whenever you're doing headlands and you know, the worker's doing his thing now he's doing a good job but you really have to be patient about this and it turns out it looks with the straw and everything oh, it just looks so cool i look at straw putting straw down as like an art man i i just want it to look cool i want it to be functional and be easy the most straight lines and the least amount of curves or hard edges the better absolutely uh if you guys are ever doing anything like this i see people and even in the um the farming simulator league which to be fair those guys are pros i'm not trying to tell them what to do or anything i'm the guy that flies tractors i know my place but you know i'm just saying if if it were me i'd try to make my lines nice and straight like this make it easy for uh whoever is coming through with the straw to get the thing and that's what i recommend you guys as well makes things go it, it's just so so easy that is what i highly recommend to you guys bloop bloop yep and we are rocking doing good so i'm just gonna keep going uh we're back to normal bells unlike yesterday where we were doing 50,000 liter bells today we are back doing 10,000 liter bells so there's our first one right there second one's about to pop out now we're gonna keep going i wonder how many bells we'll get off this field it's not gonna pay a whole lot but it'll give us a couple grand i'll be a cool with that i'll be real cool with that oh yo and the straw bit is right there i don't even have to do anything yes well, the final bits are done at least for this field right here i think we're all done as well there we go so uh fortunately we didn't have to empty out anything so we are rocking uh 75 <laughs> goodness gracious i just saw that Seventy-five thousand liters off of this field not too bad i don't think it was fertilized all the way it definitely isn't now that's for sure but that's not too bad at all what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this over here and just kind of set this out of the way because i'm getting ready to start going around with the baler and then uh, we'll be able to come back and get everything together this is not a bad field either location let's talk about this right in front of us right here this is one of the cell points for straw this is one of the uh, straw barns this is phenomenal <laughs> having right on this field Are you kidding me come on now all right so how much more do we have well we've got a little bit more to go through here i think we've got uh i don't know two or three runs actually just down and back we'll be all finished with that and then we've got to hit our headlands one of the reasons if you don't know why i didn't do the headlands first and then came back around well <laughs> that combine's gonna push those bells around so i would much rather the bells be exactly where i want them versus it being a surprise <laughs> so there you go that's that's my story and i'm sticking to it so Speaking of sticking to it, I'm going to pick up right here. We're going to do the inside line first. We're going to do the outside line. And then we're going to see how many bells we've got because we have a few. So I feel like we've got about half of them right now. We've got about half of the bells, probably another run through there. Usually these run about twenty-four dollars to $27,000 for the run. So I'm very interested to see how much we're going to be getting for this run. There's only one way to find out, isn't it? let's check it out and see here we go what are we gonna get drip, drip, drip. 30 hey oh look out look out now hold up 30 grand not bad i'll take that i know we're definitely gonna be getting another 30 grand here so that more or less just doubled the amount of cash that we have in our pocket right there and this is going to do the same thing as well you know what <laughs> I'm gonna stop picking these bells up i need to go all the way to the far end uh this is one thing especially if you guys are taking bells to the side always go to the end first because you're gonna drive back and forth a whole lot less if you come out to the far end of your field first and then go back also um yeah use use an auto load these are so easy to use i love these so much so that's uh it's kind of where oh boy oh, good job yep good job dj uh that's kind of what we're up to right here just finishing up getting the rest of these bells up we're going to make a little bit of money we are going to collect our contract i think there's a couple fertilizing contracts as well uh, we'll we'll definitely hit those off screen because there's no reason to bring those on screen and um and i think that'll just about do it for us today so let's go through let's pick the rest of these bells up uh let's see now, are we going to be able to get the rest of these up we should be able to but we'll find out for sure 
And I will uh, check back in. You know what? Let's just hang out for another couple minutes. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bills. Uh, are we really going to have one extra? We are, aren't we? Yep. That's how it always goes, isn't it? One extra bill all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Oh, come on. Just give me. Give me. There we go. And we'll strap it down. So now that bill is strapped on the inside with the rest of them. We'll drop this off. So this will be 30 plus, probably 31 something. If I had to take a guess, maybe 32. Hey, we'll get at least a little something right there. There we go. So 1100 bucks for that. And then another 27. Okay. So, so we definitely ruined our chances there of getting a good price. That is what it is. You know what? We still made almost 60 grand just off of that. Forgot. We've got a few more things to do. First off, we need to sell all this crop. I forgot about this. Uh, this is a little bit difficult here. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Come on. Y'all can do it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yikes. All right. So we're going to do these one at a time. Hopefully nothing bad happens through here. This is very, very treacherous. We're going to keep an eye on this as well. So we're just going to go back and forth, up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, it's about done. Let's see what it tells us. 29%. Okay. So I know that we're going to need to dump the rest of this back trailer in as well, because that's going to bring us up to about 30% something, or say 30, about 60%. And we will need more. We'll just kind of keep an eye on this. You need between 70 and 75% to make it a full thing. Yep. And 58%. Uh, it's just not going to cut it, is it? It is not. So we got to head back out. We got to pick up some more of those oats. Easy does it. Don't do nothing crazy, DJ. Easy. Easy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to save this, <laughs> save these trailers because this sell point is demanding it. All right. As soon as we see that hit 98, all right, it's hit 98. Stop at 69%. Keep it on it, keep it on it, keep it on it. Should change. There it is. Got it. Okay. So we were able to save, what was that? 20,000 liters from that field. Yes. That's a big old yes. We have everything done. The contracts are completed. Let's take a look and see what we've got. 13,000 for then. 12,000 and another 14,000 bringing our total. Do we have another harvesting contract that I can go ahead and set up? Not likely. I don't see anything worth it. There's, there's some decent stuff in here, but nothing, nothing in the double digits. And that's really what we're looking for. So what did we finish the day at? $138,000. Not bad. And my outros aren't bad either. <laughs> that is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. It's your with the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. See you guys later. Peace.